Okay. Aaron Skinner, 4 1 tonight. New position for you, at least in Herefordshire. Well, yeah, yeah, nah. First time I played uh, centre mid for Hereford, but I, uh, I actually played there in the youth teams at Berry and Tottenham, so it's not unfamiliar to me, really. So, But yeah, and nah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, cracking victory as well. Well done. Really, really good performance. What did you make of it all? I thought, obviously, the conditions on the pitch don't help. Like, with um, obviously playing out and everything, but I felt we played the game how it should have been played, and obviously, it worked out for us. Was, yeah. Tactically, how did how are you looking to set it up tonight? Because you're in a different position. You've got a new player alongside you on the right hand side as well. Yeah, I think um, I think we just tried to turn them as much as possible. We knew obviously when they play three at the back, there's going to be space in in behind the two wide centre halves. So I think it was just a case of turning them as much as possible because we know KP and Carlos can get on the end of things with the pace. So just a case of that really. That was the main sort of message. And the first half, obviously, you managed to get two goals uh, sort of in the opening 25 minutes. It felt like just reward after a decent performance on Saturday where things didn't come off. Yeah, obviously, we didn't get the, the goals on Saturday and they've all come today. So, yeah, no, it was uh, it was good to finally get a few goals. Obviously, missed a few chances on Saturday. So, it was good and um, hopefully we can get our confidence off and score a few more goals in the coming games. And what did you think of Alex Babel's City goals? Because he got two in three minutes, one of which was a yeah. brilliant free kick. Yeah, now they were really good goals. I thought he should have got a hat trick though when he <laughs> dropped him on the edge of the box. But now, he, um, yeah, now two really good goals, and obviously it, the third one came at a really good time because obviously we conceded. So sort of gives us a bit of comfort as well. But, so yeah. And from your perspective, you played left back, right back, now centre mids. Where's your preferred position? Where do you like to play? On the pitch. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not too bothered about where I'm playing, I'm just as long as I'm on the pitch. I, f I feel comfortable in a lot of positions, really, so I think that's a good thing, so I can help the gaffer out as much as I can. And I just want to be on the pitch. Paul Caddis has just said to us, actually, he says, you know, you're one of the really reliable members of the squad. So what's he done to your career in terms of the way that he's bolstered things here at Hereford? I think he's just... Obviously, he's believed in me from the minute I've came here. Like, he, um, he came to watch us a few times last year when I was at Bamber Bridge, and... Um, he, um, he sort of, sort of knew a lot about me before I came here, and he's put a lot of faith in me to um, go and perform. And obviously, it's it's telling that he's. Um, I, th I don't think I've missed any game that I've been eligible for. So, yeah, and no, I Gaffer's been brilliant with me. And I really enjoy the time. And surely on Saturday, I think they're third in the table. Uh, Hereford now up to sixth. So, it's almost a, a sort of a, a real focus on the playoffs now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, it, well. Could, could be a, it'll be a big game for both teams really because obviously we're sort of pushing for playoffs and, and um, yeah we might end up meeting each other in the playoffs so it could be a good game to put a marker over. And how much is the manager trying to keep a cap on sort of expectations because obviously he's sort of saying to us you know the playoffs is we need to just manage expectations a little yeah. bit. Is that the same in the dressing room? Um, to be honest, not really thinking about playoffs too much, just taking each game as it goes, just trying to win each game because that's all you can do really. You, you're no point thinking about anything in the future because things might not go your way or they might go our way, so you've just got to take each game, uh, game as it comes and just try, and try your best and win. Good stuff. Aaron Skinner, thanks very much. Thank you.